you know, with the advancements in technology, I know one of the systems you're using is ShareSource, Sunita. Do you want to just explain a little bit about um, what that is and um, how that is working for you? They send a router uh, with the machine, which they take all the information from your machine. Um, my nurse takes it from there, as well as the head office does that. So they both take the information. What I did tonight, it will come on the machine and they collect it from there. And they watch it, they look at it. What time the machine beeped, what time, what recorded, how much uh, fluid is taken out of me. And everything it gets recorded, my weight and my pressure. I enter it and so they look at it and then my nurse adjusts from her office and your machine when you turn it on it pops up it tells which one I have to pick if I'm using 2.5 or one of them is 1.5 so I just pick and the machine does everything else. It sounds like you know real-time adjustments um, by your healthcare team. And Renita, you didn't have ShareSource, so how, how did all that work for you? So I had to write everything down manually. Um, so I had a logbook, which I had to record my weight every morning, my blood pressure. At the end of my cycle, it would give me all my information of how much drained out of me, what my fluid was and everything. And I would have to write that down and then my nurses would call me every week and I would have to give them my information over the phone. <laughs> so that's how it worked for me. <laughs> and I guess I just want to ask you, you both about, you know, the role of family, the role of caregivers when you're doing PD at home. How, how important is that? My husband is my doctor and nurse. <laughs> he helps a lot and he's everything for me. He's my cook, he's my house cleaner, he's my dishwasher, he's my everything. So he's a pretty good support. Before I was married, um, obviously I had my parents' support. And then after getting married, I had my husband's support as well. Again, helping with moving supplies because the boxes are quite heavy. Um, so my husband would move my boxes for me um, on days that I wasn't feeling too good or I wasn't feeling well. He learned how to do all my dialysis set up for me. So he would make sure that my machine and everything was set up for me before I go to bed. Um, so all I would have to do is plug in and do my dialysis overnight. I had a lot of family support, a lot of friend support. Work, my work environment, um, my manager, was awesome. She actually was very understanding and gave me reduced hours, really helped me. On um, the times that I had to do manual dialysis, I was allowed to go into you know one of the staff rooms and do dialysis if I had to during work time. Overall, the community, everyone was very, very supportive. That's a that's a really good point. I mean, all of this is is important to along your journey because you may be doing it at home, but you're certainly not alone in the process. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining us today on Plugged In and for sharing some of the considerations that you took to make the important decision to go on peritoneal dialysis. Yeah, thank you. Next time, we will look at your first few weeks on dialysis and what this journey has meant for you.